Welcome to Snow Seekers TV, and thanks for joining us for our look at one of the world's top rated snow destinations, Whistler, British Columbia. It's also the place to be for endless slope style entertainment with the annual World Ski and Snowboard Festival. Vancouver is the closest international airport and your gateway to Whistler Blackhawk. From Vancouver, follow Highway 99, or as it's fondly called, the Sea to Sky Highway. Once into Whistler's pedestrian village, look way up, but forget about counting the runs. Whistler is the largest mountain resort in North America with well over 200 runs and 16 alpine bowls, all serviced by 37 lifts. The award-winning peak-to-peak tram links the two mountain peaks so you can pick the pockets of powder on both mountains with ease. I first arrived in Whistler with my buddy in a van in February 1973. Whistler's kind of Canada's ski center, so it's a good place to make a living that way. I've made my living for most of my working life taking pictures of skiers in the wintertime. We're very, very fortunate we've got two mountains. We've got, you know, two of the biggest mountains in North America. We have intense stormy periods where people don't even see the mountain they're on. And yet other times people come and they get a week of blue skies and beautiful sunsets. And I think that that is one of the beauties of the place is that there is a lot of variety. It isn't always the same. Just like today, getting up and seeing a beautiful morning scene, you know, sunrise and the way it hit the different mountains and the clouds in the background every time it's different. But the experiences you can have on the mountain and the people you share them with and the, the diversity of groomed runs or backcountry skiing, powder snow, storms, it's always an evolution, it's always changing. I think that you have a connection with the mountain, a connection with your friends and it's all very positive which I think is a real bonus for, for those of us who choose to be in the mountain. I do it because I love it. At uh, my age now that only ever had to do what I wanted to do and when I've done it where I've wanted to do it and with the people that I, I choose to do it with so you can't really hope for really too much more than that. Whether you're making it happen on the mountain or off the mountain, it's tough to go wrong in Whistler. What makes this place special is we're right on the mountain. This is happening right here. You walk in your ski boots into a place and it's going off. People are singing, all coming together to do apre. It's a religious experience. You just gotta be here to understand. Yeah, and it's one of those things too where it's a real international audience. So you've got interaction from people that might not necessarily hang out together and it it's more fun because you're not just stuck in your local bar with a bunch of people you know. It's like a perpetual motion machine. You put out all that energy trying your best to entertain the audience and when they get it and they start dancing on the furniture and going crazy and having a ride, it just becomes this cycle of energy that builds and builds and builds and that's when it gets really fun. You know, there's that beautiful balance of outdoor activity and indoor playtime. All the massive adrenaline and the stoke you got up, shredding the powder on the mountains or, you know, hucking off little cliffs or learning to ski or all points in between. And rather than leaving it on the mountain, you bring it into the bar at the bottom of the hill and you do apre proper, high octane apre ski. It's a cultural experience for some people. I mean, for us, it's never just another day at the office, and maybe that's why we've been successful with it. That's the thing about music. If you, uh, if you love it, it gets in your blood, and uh, you never turn it off. Let's hear from some travelers on how they describe one of the world's top ski resorts. I would describe Whistler as a place that is just full of variety. Every day is exciting here. It snows a ton and the train is just endless. There's always an adventure to be had here. From Toronto, Ontario, and we skied there in minus 40 degree weather and I heard the weather was gonna be fabulous here and we got snow. So hopped on the plane, jumped off and here I am. This is the place to be. I am from uh, New York City. The views are insane. Incredible. Um, yeah, it's incredible. Like British Columbia, this area is beautiful. Actually, it's probably the prettiest place I've ever been.
Not only is Whistler the biggest ski resort on the continent, it's also the host of the biggest week of mountainside music, art, and snow sports during the World Ski and Snowboard Festival. This wonderful world of mountain culture is a 10-day festival held every April in the heart of Whistler Village. Watch as athletes on the snow flip, carve, and spin in slope style and terrain park competitions. Meanwhile, artists, musicians, and photographers complete the daily list of free entertainment. This is the Whistler Shred Show, one of the bigger kind of year-end slope style events that's part of the World Ski Snowboard Festival. And it's perfect weather now, so we're lucky for that. So I've been here for a couple of them before and always watched and had a blast, but I'm stoked that I get to compete this year. Well, there's like a total of two rail features and then three jump features. Pretty high speed feature, so it's, it's different and it's a little challenging to figure out what you're gonna do on it, but then all of a sudden, kind of once you drop in, it's pretty cool because it's just nothing else going on except just you and where you're riding, so. It's, it's nice because it's almost totally carefree once you start riding and all the nerves go away, so it's nice. It's amazing to see what these guys do and some pretty big names that show up for it, so it's exciting that I you know, get to be a part of that. Springtime is like the best time here because there's always lots going on and no matter what. And it's actually even just hard to find a time to sleep because you know, you're always up here every day and then you want to be up here early and then everybody's having fun down at the bottom right after snowboarding and then people you know, stay out all night too. So. It's, uh, it's a blast here and so many friendly people, so that's why I like it so much. Within the World Ski and Snowboard Festival, if you haven't figured it out yet, what's happening on the slopes is just the beginning. The World Ski and Snowboard Festival is kind of like this magic moment in the winter for Whistler Black Home. It's the end of the season and everybody gets together and Whistler puts on these really cool events. and. It's really cool because everybody's just celebrating the winter and like partying and just being stoked about what happened and we're just celebrating, you know, the culture over here and it's really cool to be part of it. I've taken part in so many festivals here and it's always like the best week of the year. And there's so many events, so many good concerts, so many cool um, venues like intersections and photographer showdown and filmmaker showdown, so it's a really good time to be here. Whistler Black Home doesn't compare to anywhere else in the world. It's kind of unreal. It's this little bubble of people that live for the passion of winter sports. This is a celebration of winter. This area is you know, very similar to what we try to accomplish with our music, where it's about having fun and smiling and dancing and not being too serious. It's just an amazing event because it really covers all aspects and all elements of creativity. You know, winter sport, fashion, music, art. You know, you come to a little area like this, it's amazing. I mean, go to the convention center, walk around and look at the art. All these people that are, you know, from this vicinity and how much world-class amazing art you have. And then you also have the athletes who are like, you know, the best skiers, snowboarder, mountain bikers, climbers in the world out here. It's just a beautiful place. It's just a great, great, great event, great party, really good people, and brings everybody together with some world-class talent. I live in Portland, Oregon area, and I've been coming up to the festival now for 11 years. The village, the festival, the combination of all of these things, the, the food, the beer, the contest, the music, the art, it's just amazing, everything up here. And you throw in some snowboarding too, it's fantastic. There's no place like Whistler.